What is going on, everybody? Bobby Fi. I'm with my guy, Evan Meyer, who you would probably know better as Scans if you're in our Discord chat. Evan does a lot of behind the scenes work for us and has put together some really cool tools that we wanted to feature today. Um, Evan, I uh, thanks a lot for doing this. I can see that you're on you're, you're at your uh, vacation spot over there. Um, That's right. This is a uh, welcome from uh, Fire Island, New York. Got to get away. Yeah. No, it's good. I appreciate you making time for this because there's a couple of tools that I feel like we haven't talked about as much that are really, really helpful that uh, that I think people could get a lot of use out of and uh, wanted to focus on those and then talk about some of the other ones that we've developed as well. As you guys know, you have been using us for a while. We have, you know, our SaberSim uh, sheets as projections are uploaded onto SaberSim. Uh, I have my core plays over there. Rody does his course over there, uh, all that stuff. And but we also have our own uh, our own lineup builder, which Evan built, and it's a little more simple and bare bones, but it's been effective uh, quite a bit. So we're, we'll talk a little bit about that. One of the things, though, that I wanted to to, to focus on uh, before we talk about that, though, is the the YouTube search engine thing that you that you've built for us. And I thought I'd let you sort of take it away and, and run us through it, if you if you don't mind. Sure. Uh, this can be accessed under the tools menu for YouTube DFS industry search. And we had done a video on this before, but just to kind of go over it one more time, there is a plethora of videos from various sites. There's just too much content to really, and, and not enough hours in the day to absorb what other people are thinking because other people have good opinions as well. Mm -hmm. And we respect that and we're interested in what they're having to say. So what we do is we, uh, twice a day, we aggregate the, um, the videos and uh, what they said and put it into a search engine such that, for instance, here I did a search for the Red Sox, go Sox, mm -hmm. although the season's not looking good. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we get a couple of matches across some of the, the better known sites. And by clicking on any one of these links, you... As you'll see here, we'll yeah. jump right into Pretty the much discussion. Everybody in the AL, um, East right now, except yeah, for that, right. exactly where they're talking about it, and, and that's exactly where yeah, you know, a few seconds before. So you're catching this this uh, word fragment, and obviously you can go and and maximize the window, whatever you want to do. The point is, we got you to the spot in the video that might be of interest to you, and by looking at the text, you can see what. Um, what they were talking about at that time. Now, look, if we put in, I, you know, I hope I don't break into a rash by putting in Aaron Judge's name, but if we <laughs> do that, um, you'll be able to see the the matches for his name. Uh, obviously, it's not under MMA or any of that because the word judge applies to that kind of stuff too. But we get down to baseball, MLB, and you can see Run Pure Sports is talking about Aaron Judge. And again, you click on it and uh, like it will take you right more to that but, video right at that moment. And uh, hopefully this this yeah. will give you a better use of your time. Um, we're all fans of all these sites and everyone's opinions and everyone's mm -hmm. got interesting things to say. But I think this this will help you digest it all. One one question that comes up is what should I be searching for? So well, I mean, think, what I, mean, I do it, is I also crunch all the words to give you the popular, for instance, this is under MLB, uh, to show you what people are talking about today mm -hmm. so that you can say, oh, a lot of people talking. About, I know you love the Dodgers. So a lot of people talking about the Dodgers, a lot of people talking about the Mets and so forth and Braves. So this gives you some place to, to go or particular, um, particular player names. Mm -hmm. Um, this is nothing. This is nothing that we're really offering. We're just telling, in terms of our own opinion. This is just. This is the numbers. This is yeah. this is statistically what people are talking about. And if you were interested in other sports, we have PGA golf. We break it down by a NASCAR. We break it down by MMA. We break it down by NHL, etc. Mm -hmm. You have all the sports that that you should be interested in. Yep. And, and and it's a really awesome tool. I mean, the thing is that what, what, what I've used it for when I, when I, I mean, if I, if I'm looking for a certain, of course, the, what's the that? Dogs, uh, get, get a little nuts right now. Oh, no problem. Wait, that's, that's Mrs. Sheets sister over there. <laughs> we got... <laughs> yeah, we're on it.
So yeah, sorry about that. We were just, uh, but we, I was just talking about how the way, one of the things I like to use it for is if, if there's a certain player, especially when it comes to basketball, that I, I'm sort of curious what the what the fee, other field are talking about. I can just pop it right on in there, and it'll immediately give them up all you know every every competing site. Which again, we're we're not saying we're the same as all these sites or anything. Part of what we want to offer is a one stop shop where you can really get our opinions, what we're doing, our numbers. Uh, but we also want you to have access to to what other people are thinking as well. And these are, you know, we're we're not breaking anything. These are free videos that people are putting out there. But it's just it's such a quick and easy way of simplifying, you know, ex and 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 fine tuning exactly what you want to need for, you know, what you want to know. Take a picture like uh, who I, you know, we liked yesterday. Uh, Evan, do you mind typing the word Cobbin um, into there? C O B B. Um, because that was like a, that was another one where I was just sort of curious where everyone was going to end up on him, and and rather than going through all reading everybody's things, we want to see we want to see what other people th are thinking, and and this will take me to exactly what the guys who I respect are thinking, and uh, and some of the ones I don't respect for that matter, but uh, but it's a really handy tool. I would encourage you guys to take a look at it because all it, it'll take you right to the point where you're getting talked about, and if you're questioning a stack or seeing what other people are saying about a stack. So you type in type in something like Braves or whatever whatever team he would even used the Red Sox earlier as an example. I think it's a really really handy tool to use, and it's something that I don't think anybody else out there is offering. And it really helped you fine tune your process in terms of seeing sort of what the field is, is thinking and what the experts are thinking on a certain player, team, pitcher, yeah, uh, what, what have you. Uh, and also keep in mind when you load this the page, it's going to tell you when it was last refreshed. Obviously, there's content coming up throughout the day. So mm -hmm. we do a run in the morning and we do a run hopefully before lock time so that you get some updated videos as well. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's awesome. Um, so yeah, I would encourage everybody to do that. Evan, just remind everybody it's, 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 so it's under tools and yeah, right under tools, you'll see for YouTube DFS industry search. Mm -hmm. And Perfect. if you have suggestions, I welcome them. Send me a message in discord. Uh, we can do other things if there are particular channels and, um, and particular playlist that you like let us know yeah absolutely and it's uh, again it scans on uh on our discord channel evan with that take us to, to the lineup builder i know like i said we have a more simplified uh bare bones one but evan's evan created this thing and sort of before we even thought he could do anything and and it's you know it's, it's had some decent results at times so tell us a little bit about this well, so this what's nice about here, this lineup builder, it's going to load it right from the from the sheets. So if you have access to our site, you have access to this and and it will load right in those those values and tell you how how recently they were updated. Um, and it will give you the options. You know, again, this is not SaberSim. This is a a a um, basically a linear algebra problem where we're trying to maximize the number of fantasy points within the salary limits. Right. And we can do some simple limitations like how many lineups you're interested in, how many unique players in each lineup, and you can also set a maximum PO. So this, I think, gets you started. I, I had some good success with this uh, mm -hmm. through other sports as well. It's, it's yeah. the same code, obviously. Um Baseball is tough, and uh, one of the one of the um, you know things when you have a monster slate, you know, it's if you're only playing one lineup, it's it's tough. It's mm -hmm. tough to to hit. Right. But um, this at least gives those those folks who are subscribing with us and have not yet uh, linked up with the SaberSim package gives them some tools that they can use. So I, I hope they'll make use of them. And um, I've been getting feedback from various people, including uh, uh, on, on our DFS, uh, our true DFS team. Uh, Kenny told me he hit one when none of his other lineups won. Yeah. And, uh, and the one from the optimizer works. So, and I want to uh, point out, uh, this will be more effective for football and basketball. Because oh, absolutely. Lot, baseball has such a high range of outcomes. I had a lot of, a lot of good outcomes from NHL, NBA, and football. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to football again. Yeah, it's going to be fun this season, guys. So hopefully you're tuning in for this. And again, these are just other tools that we're offering. These are This is not something that we're saying, hey, you should use this and that. But I wanted to show you at least because we haven't really talked through it. I think this is a handy tool, especially, you know, if you're building a, a limited number of lineups and you want to just sort of run a quick a quick thing out there, maybe you can put a little tweak on it with, with some of the things that I've been talked about. But this is, a, I think it's a, another little handy tool 
Um, I, I said, I'm obsessed with the YouTube search engine thing. I think that's, that's one, one that I think everybody could use because, and no sites offering. Um, but this is, this is also really handy. Um, and, and obviously if there's certain players you want to lock or exclude, you yeah. have that ability. Cause that's, that's a very important thing, obviously. So if you, it's not quite building, you know, a particular slate, you know, with teams, but you could kind of get close to that with this. Yep. If you, if you were favoring a certain team. Definitely. Let's talk, talk about the historical about, ownership. Yeah. Yeah. So when we're talking about doing lineups, one thing, obviously, although we have the, the estimated ownership uh, that Sheets provides us, sometimes it's interesting to see how things really went down. Mm -hmm. So every morning uh, we collect the results. This is, this happens to be for MLB I picked and it shows you several uh, slates contests across different um, across the different betting sites and you can search by the player name you can search by the contest name and find out what was the actual ownership at the end of uh, at lock time and I think that might help skew especially if you're trying to make a tough decision based on ownership and and Bobby I know you that's a big thing for you yep when you're doing the the multiple entries and and so forth so i think this is another piece of the puzzle um we, we may not have the answer but at least we have the information immediately available for you based upon let's say the last two weeks or so of contests across yeah. all the sports and i think that's a I, th I think that's really handy uh as well and it's something that i need to start taking more of a look at because i i do like tracking that kind of stuff and i'm glad we were able to figure out a way to do it um yeah, Evan, uh, going back to to real quickly, because I feel like for maybe people who haven't used the site at all, maybe going back just in, and uh, do you mind just taking, just clicking on the uh, the main page and talking about, I know this is not your tool, but the uh, the Saber Sim, if you just click on it just to show what I was talking about, I don't have my, my core plays up yet for this particular day, but we do have everything written in there as well. I just want to remind everybody to... You really can get all the information here, not to mention we have a very active, active Discord and, and a, a team of pros who will answer every question that you have, um, especially between Rody and myself. She yeah. just, I, I, I can't actually link through this one. Okay, no worries, no worries. Account, but but everyone should should see this here, and that gets you right into the SaberSim site, and you will see the, um, the SaberSim numbers, as well as, assuming you've subscribed with us, you'll see the drop-down to offer uh, to display the true DFS uh, yeah. projections, ownership, your core plays, et cetera, mm -hmm. all, all right there, just built in, just right in the interface, really no, no heavy searching involved. It's all right there. Yep. Absolutely. And I wanted to keep this video short so we could, you know, get it out there to some people, but uh, guys, I think you guys should take a look at it. And um, Evan, is there anything else we should focus on before we get out of here? Yeah, not my dog behind me, but I got one more thing. Okay. Uh, so with NFL Survivor oh, right. yeah, yeah. coming up, I, I uh, Sheets and I talked about this. You know, there's a couple of sites out there that offer your uh, projections for um, for value on picking teams for each week. Uh, so we aggregate the data from Yahoo, Run Your Pool, Office football pool and we also offer to average them all together so if you pick again you'll see when those that data was updated you can see it was updated around noon today because they're getting people's selections for the upcoming season and therefore the data keeps changing as people are putting in their numbers so let's just say we picked yahoo for instance it's going to display at this moment what the um likely win percentage and pick percentages so no one's like in arizona but using this site you can now calculate the ev mm -hmm. for for that week one so <clears throat> at least according to this your top contenders are indianapolis baltimore cincinnati san francisco new orleans now let's say you didn't agree with these numbers you can go in and you can say well i i really think that Arizona, although I don't personally think so, has a chance of winning. Uh, let's say it's 80%. It's going to ask you to correct, therefore, what the winning likelihood is for Kansas City. And now you can recalculate. And you can see all of a sudden, boom, it's saying, well, go with Arizona then, because yeah. 
you've obviously altered the data significantly. But the point is that if you don't agree with the, the picking percentage or the win percentage for any of these teams, you can go in and edit it. It will get you to correct it so all the numbers match up. And then you can calculate your own EV values for determination of who you want to pick for your survivor games. I love it. Um, it's great. And it goes along. Sheets will be doing his weekly videos for Survivor as he he nearly won. the. It's like one of the biggest contests ever for, for a Survivor pool that he almost won last year. So I suggest you follow that and you'd use this tool. Well, as well. Yeah, the, the the algorithm for calculating this is very straightforward. It's no different than the other sites. But I think what's nice is, you know, for as as we've all learned from Sheets, he has his own view on what the percentages are. And mm -hmm. those tend towards towards what ends up being uh, valid. And so therefore, if he ends up providing his own value set, we can we can help offer that as well. Love it. Well, great, Evan. I really appreciate you doing this with us uh, while you're on your on your little vacation there. And I hope you guys have a, a terrific time the rest of it. And I really encourage everybody to check out these tools and and pop. And if you have questions in Discord, fire them at Evan, fire them at me. I'll probably bring Evan in because he knows it stuff better than I do on the on this stuff. But I think it's really going to be handy, especially as we get into football season in a couple of weeks. So, Evan, thanks a lot and great job on all this. Thanks, Bobby. It's it, everything is uh, is uh, really exciting right now. Looking forward to football season, and I hope everyone's making use of the tools. And if they have suggestions, please, I'm I'm very interested. I think we all are because, um, you know, being being the size that we are, we're flexible, and we want to uh, try to match with what your expectations are as a uh, subscriber. Absolutely. Totally. I couldn't agree more. Uh, with that said, we're going to leave you guys and uh, going to say good luck to everybody. And uh, hopefully these tools will help you. And again, any questions, we're, we're right here to answer. So uh, we want to make this as easy for you guys as possible. So thanks very much, Evan. And uh, we are out. Take it easy.